Okay. So, by the way, uh, I would like to apologize for being gone for such or for quite a, quite some time. Uh, uh, I was currently on leave. That is why I was not able to meet you. Okay. So, uh, so uh, for this class, uh, I would first like uh, to get your suggestion if uh, it's okay with everyone. If I'll, we'll, if we'll be discussing or we'll have the subject multimedia or multimedia subject for this, I know, or multimedia topic for this subject or for this elective class. Okay, lang ba sa inyo? We will be discussing about multimedia. Okay, lang, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so also, uh, First, I uh, would like to ask, lahat ba kayo may computers? Lahat may mga computers sa bahay? Kasi if we're going to discuss about multimedia, uh, uh, siguro there will be, kailangan, uh, kailangan nyo talaga ng computers for some of the topics na kailangan nyo talaga ng computers, especially with uh, movie editing ata. Yan. So, lahat ba may mga computers? May mga computers? Kahit di naman siguro kailangan na high, okay, high specs. Sining walang PC dito. Okay, sir. Oh, sir, wala. Ila, okay, kindly pako pa chat doon sa ano, pa chat ng name doon sa pa chat ng mga pangalan para maano natin. Pa chat na lang ng mga pangalan ha para makita ma-identify natin sino-sino yung mga wala, walang PC. Okay. Sige. Uh, although there would ah uh, okay so sige. so for the, okay so for this for this topic uh, multimedia we will be we will not be discussing talaga yung sa mga deep multimedia uh, tricks or mga styles okay yeah uh, uh, we'll, what we'll be covering is usually yung mga basics lang ng different types of multimedia. So for this uh, subject, we will be discussing about uh, uh, first again history ng multimedia, and then papasok tayo sa basic uh, basic image editing, basic video editing, logo making, and photography. Basics ng or introductory ng photography. If so, yan yung mga edi discuss natin, and also basics. Parang introduction to basic animation or 2D animation. Okay. So, yun. Uh, I don't have any, wala naman akong problema when it comes to, ano, siguro yung sa photography, video editing, uh, pwede naman gamitin doon kahit cellphone lang. There are a lot of uh, applications na, na available sa app stores for cellphones na pwede nyo gamitin. Okay. So, when we say photography, hindi nyo kailangan bumili ng, uh, camera or DSLR para sa subject na that photography, uh, you can use your cell phones para to take pictures. You just have to apply yung mga principles na i-discuss natin when it comes to photography sa mga gagawin ninyo. Claro? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I understand, okay. I understand that most of you here are all or almost all ba are graduating students. Hopefully, Hopefully, sir. Okay, very good. So, uh, for, uh, oh, for the for your project, uh, for your project, simple lang naman yung hinihingi ko. Okay, since actually baka magamit na rin to if you decided to uh, go to the field of multimedia or sang, kahit sang field of multimedia, I'll be asking you to create your very own portfolio ng mga gawa ninyo ng multimedia. So, it includes yung mga gawa ninyo based sa mga activities na meron tayo sa subject natin. Klaro? So, oh. klaro ba tayo? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, so, yan. So, usually, ano, uh, yun nga, my, uh, my bad eh, kasi medyo later tayo nag-start kasi sobrang busy. So, kailangan natin isagad lahat ng mga ta. Pwede natin, ano, with, with two months left, kailangan natin isagarin lahat yun. So, we'll, we will be using all the time na meron tayo, especially sa laboratory natin. 
Okay? For for the laboratory siguro what will happen is I'll be pre-recording um, uh, uh, I'll be doing pre-recording vid- pre-recorded videos kung paano uh, paano mag- gumam or paano gumamit ng mga application or softwares na alam kong gamitin and then you can just review ko pa paano ninyo gagawin. Okay? Andito ba si Jaylo wala? Baka dito lang yung ata sa ah, Pero sa subject na to, ah, dito siya sa section na to. Yes, sir. Ata. Ah, okay. Yes, sir. Sige, sige. Okay. So, I understand meron isa sa inyo dito that it's already uh, quite uh, uh, already earning or doing professional multimedia concepts. Para, uh, ano, so, that's actually really good. Okay. So, uh, Ah, uh, yun nga. So, for today's, uh, before we proceed, are there any questions muna? Wala naman, sir. Wala muna. Okay. So, uh, for this time around, siguro, we'll, uh, for today's lecture, we'll be discussing about, uh, ano lang, uh, uh, introduction about multimedia or what is multimedia. Although, I know most of you are already familiar with what is multimedia. Let's just go, let's dig deeper kung ano ba talaga si multimedia. Ay, ano yung mga, baka, ano yung mga, bakit kailangan natin siyang intindihin. Especially in today's uh, generation, bakit ba sobrang uh, laki or bakit sobrang, uh, bakit so, kailangan natin, matu- or bakit sobrang hit yung multimedia ngayon. Okay? So, let's start. So, first, uh, let us discuss what is multimedia. So, multi, ibig sabihin, it means many or more, and media, meaning medium of communication. So, that is where multimedia came from. So, many kinds of media communications. So, when we say media communications, what are these media communications? Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Sige. Let's try to add uh, or let's try to call some names. Sige. How about Danica? Danica Joy. Sir? Okay. Can you give me one example of media communication? Um, um, uh, phone call, sir. Ah? Uh? Phone call. Text message. Okay. Okay, sige, sige, okay. How about, ano, how about, uh, Madania? Madania? Madania, Akmad? Nandito ba si Akmad? Or Tulog? Akmad, wala. Okay, sige. Okay, so when we say medium of communications, anything na ginagamit natin that can be used to communicate with certain someone. So this includes uh, telephones, text messages, laptops, phones, even yung mga uh, radios, Diba? So, those are called uh, med- medium of communications. Okay? So, let's proceed. So, multimedia is a media and content that uses a combination of different content forms. The, terms, the term is used in contrast to media which only use traditional forms of printed or hand-produced material. So, when we say multimedia, kaya nga tinawag na multi, we will be... Uh, joining or merging different types of media to create or to uh, to produce one as uh, one successful or one ano tawag dito, uh, so for us to produce one effective type of media so unlike with the different forms na ginagamit natin or yung traditional form that is printed lang which is isang klase lang siya so Uh, so, isang klase lang. So, these are yung mga example na mga, 
uh, printed media na meron tayo. So, two, uh, multimedia includes sa combinations of text, audio, still images, animation videos, interactivity content forms. So, yan. Next, we have history. So, so, the term multimedia was first used by Bob Goldenstein in July 1996 to promote the opening of his Lightworks. Yan. So that is when uh, multimedia was uh, multimedia started. So in 1970s, the term was used to describe presentations consisting of multi-project slides shown time to an audio track. So in 1990s, multimedia took in its current meaning. So uh, T. Vaughan declared multimedia as a combination of text, graphic, art, and sounds animation in the video that is delivered by computers. Yan. So, this is ito yung pinaka recent ngayon na meaning or meaning ng multimedia. Yung kay T. T. Vaughan. Kasi nga, before then, wala pa tayo mga, especially exam, for example, with animation. Uh, before then, uh, before nagkaroon pa ng uh, computer animations, there are already different types of animations now. now we, okay, we have the cell animation and the uh, madami and uh, frame by frame animation. So, mga ganyang bagay. Okay, so yun. So, let's proceed. So, uh, in common usage, the term multimedia refers to an electronically delivered combination of media including video, still images, audio text in such way that can be combined and be accessed interactively okay so computers marketed in 1990s were referred to as multimedia computers because they are contained in a cd rom and drive so yan so so that is uh yan na yung yung yun natin ng multimedia so uh, uh just a show of hands how many of you here are already familiar with kai Okay, sino yung nakarinig na or, or has an idea of what is an KAI? No idea, sir. Uh, KAI, Computer Aided Instruction. Wala pa? Okay. KAI is a Wala form pa, of... Sir. Okay. So, KAI is a form of multimedia wherein ginagamit siya uh, to teach someone or para siyang application multi para siyang multimedia application that actually helps teach someone or or tumutulong siya to teach or to guide someone for example uh, sino sa inyo yung nakapasok na ng SM or MOA tapos may makikita kayong malaking screen and then it guides you kung saan yung yung saan yung path papunta sa mga designated stores na gusto ninyong puntahan for example papasok ka ng SM you wanted to go to H&M or Forever 21. So, pupunta ka doon sa, ano yun, sa, yung sa malaking screen na yun. And then, you'll just uh, tap, tapos ipapakita niya yung uh, paano yung way para makalating kayo sa store na yun. Are you familiar with that one? Nakakita na ba kayo ng ganun? Dito sa Sambuang, uh, wala, pang, wala pang ganun eh. Pero sa may ibang malls kasi, meron silang ganun, yung parang guide nila, yung parang navigation, navigation system nila. Okay. So that is an example of kai, okay? So there are also different some uh, kais wherein it teaches uh, students on how to, uh, ano to, how to do uh, basic mathematics, basic math, mga ganyang bagay, okay? So uh, actually that is a uh, kai or yung mga computer aided instruction is one of the most effective multimedia na meron tayo okay kasi pag sinabi natin multimedia it just it doesn't uh, only say na video editing image editing animation hindi lang ganun siya okay meron din tayo ang isang form ng multi uh, multimedia that really uh, incorporates yung pina pwede mong pagsama-samahin lahat doon na siya pumapasok ng yung kai na yun so sa kai doon magkakaroon ng mga meron magkakaroon ng audio tapos images and videos and etc. So, moving on. So, uh, categorization. So, there are two types of multimedia. We have the linear multimedia and the nonlinear multimedia. So, when we say linear, linear active content progresses without any navigation control for the viewers. 
Okay? Kumbaga, uh, if I'm going to compare this with a uh, website, ito yung mga static website. Ibig sabihin, wal, di mo siya, uh, wala kang pwedeng interaction na pwedeng gawin sa kanya. Titingnan mo lang siya hanggang sa matapos siya. For example of this was is yung nga, cinema presentation is an example of a linear multimedia. So, upo ka lang, papanoorin mo lang siya hanggang matapos. So, hang, yun na yun. So, walang interaction na nangyari. So, that uh, those are called linear multimedia. But we say non-linear multimedia naman. These are non-linear content users uh, interactivity to control progress as used with a computer game. So, as you can see, ito naman yung opposite. Okay, so meron ng interaction na nangyayari ngayon. So pwede kang mag-save. Hindi naman kailangan, or yun na nga, sabi dito, pwede kang mag-save or may interaction na nangyayari with user and the multimedia. Okay, so example of this is the hypermedia is an example of a non-linear multimedia. So question so far? Okay, sige, let's proceed on na. Oh, medyo boring pa tong part na to. Okay. So first, characteristics. So multimedia presentation can be viewed in person or stage projected, transmitted or played locally with a media player. Okay. So broadcast and recordings can be either analog or digital electronic media uh, technology. Now question, anong pagkakaiba ng analog and digital? Anyone? Madalas natin marinig yan when it comes to networking or ano, ano ang pagkakaiba ng ano, analog and digital? Anyone? Hmm? Wala? Ha? Huh? Eh? Ah. Ah, huh? anong what is the difference when we say analog and digital in electronical media? What is the difference ba? Madalas sa tinarinig yan, digital analog. Even sa mga sounds ngayon, meron ng digital, meron na ring analog. So what is the difference between the two? Oh, si oh, Isma. Sige. Ano pa? Well, ano like Sa digital, sir, as in, easy mo lang sa mga ma-identify things. Like, example, yung sa clock. Di ba may digital clock at a number clock? Mm -hmm. So, yung digital is, nakasulat na sa asin, a number. Kaya yung mm -hmm. sa analog is yung parang, ano ba lang, yung, ano ba? May, yung line-line na gano'n. Oh, okay. Okay, so usually, uh, when we say analog and digital, these are yung mga signals na nakukuha natin. Okay, so when we say analog, uh, hindi or hindi, what do you call this one, uh, uh, hindi fix yung analog. That is why mahirap siyang basahin. Compared to digital, digital kasi is makita mo talaga kung ano yung, ano niya, yung wave niya. Kasi pag sinabi kasi analog, it is continuous. Unlike digital, may mga gaps na nagkakaroon. So mas madaling ma-identify yung ano nila. Um, mas madaling ma-identify. Okay. So, next, we have various formats of technological or digital multimedia may be intended to enhance the user's experience. Okay. So, example for this one, yun nga, yun, this, these are kung saan nagla, uh, people who add or naglalagay ng mga multimedia sa mga, uh, example, presentation sila to make it uh, to make it user friendly or to make the experience uh, 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 parang maganda or enjoyable. Okay? So, uh, kaya kung mapapansin ninyo, there are times, example, if pupunta kayo ng mga seminars, there are some speakers na gumagamit ng multimedia like uh, maglalagay sila ng mga videos or pagpapasok sila, may sound sila na nilalagay para magiging upbeat or nababa, nababago kagad yung uh, ano to, yung screen or magbabago hagad yung uh, aura sa loob ng room gamit na, pag gumagamit sila ng mga multimedia. Okay? How many of you have experience by example, you are in a ano, uh, you are in a seminar tapos uh, makikinig ka sa isang talk kung saan puro kwento lang na kwento yung ano, yung speaker puro slides ang pinapakita niya. And then biglang yung next speaker or biglang maglalagay, mag-play siya ng video or maglalagay siya ng sound or mag-show siya ng images, biglang nakukuha kagad yung attentions ng mga 
users or ng mga participants. So, ito na yung sinas- ito na yun. Okay? So, next. Online multimedia is increasingly becoming object-oriented and data-driven, enabling applications with collaborative and user innovation and personalization of multimedia forms and content over time. So, okay. So, usually nowadays, ito na yung mga types of multimedia kung saan nababago na na. Or when we say uh, object-oriented data-driven is parang yung mga users is nagkakaroon na sila ng... Yun ang uh, kanina is... Uh, may interactions na nangyari. But for example, uh, how many of, uh, example yung, have you experienced yung paggagawa ka ng avatar sa isang, uh, example, maglalagin or gagawa ka ng account sa isang game and you have to create your own avatar. Di ba dati, uh, parang iisa lang yung quality, uh, dati, ang nagbabago lang sa avatar is yung clothes lang ang pipiliin mo. But this time around, yung mga avatar, pwede mo lang palitan yung mga mata, ilong, tenga, and etc. So, those are the examples for this one. So, types of multimedia. I think you're already very familiar with this ones. So, first we have audio, and then we have capture, uh, capture on tape, and then function on photography, and sideshows. Yeah. So, you're, everyone familiar na kayo dito. Okay. So, the following extension commonly used to lay up all multimedia documentation. So, when we say MOV, ano yan? This is a file format for what? Movie. Okay, movie. Same with MP4, 3GP, uh, MOV, and FLV. So, mga movie, and usually movies yan silang lahat. Okay. So, uh, question. If you're going to render a movie, anong... Ano yung ginagamit niyo na format? MP4. MP4? Okay. So, sino yung... Uh, okay. So, how many of you have uh, have tried rendering videos uh, as long as uh, mga ano? One hour video. Sino naka-experience sa mag-render ng mga 1 hour na video? Meron na ba? Wala pa. Wala pa, sir. Okay. So, usually, if you're going to render mga videos that actually umaabot ng mga 1 hour and above, hindi na, or hindi na, ano, uh, it is not uh, maganda gamitin yung, ah, wait lang, ha? Sir Laser, nasa ano sila, sir? Campus B? Okay, monitoring. monitoring for the LMS. Bakit sa'yo natin? Ah, I can text him na lang, attorney. I'll inform him na lang ito po kayo. Request lang may, ah, uh, request lang may kami na username sa faculty for Migration to... Ah, nandito sa... Ayun, kung saan si, si Pat, ano, West. Baka sumama sa kanila, sumama? sir. Sumama? Oo, oh, nag-ano sa kanila doon. Dilindig ang mga pinag-ano. Oo. Ano na, ganyan-ganyan, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I'm back. Nandiyan pa ba kayo lahat? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, asa, na asa na ba tayo? Doon sa yung surrender of ano, video. Uh, sa movies. Ah, oo. Oh, yung sa ano. How many of you have, ano, uh, actually, pag one hour na yung video, yun na nga. 
if more than an hour na yung uh, length ng video, medyo hindi na maganda gamitin yung mga MP4 or MOV. That is why, uh, usually, for mga long length na mga videos, you actually use mga... Have you have you tried using yung ano? Uh, H.264 uh, H, H. format. Sino naka-experience na H.264? Wala pa. Okay. So usually, mapapansin yung H.264, mapapansin nyo siya. Yan yung mga formats na ginagamit sa encoding or encoding formats na ginagamit sa mga CCTVs, yung mga pang makakabaan ng mga recording, mga ganyan. Usually, yan na yung mga ginagamit nila. Okay? Pero later on, don't worry about that. We'll be discussing those pagdating natin sa ano na, sa uh, video, uh, sa pag sa video editing na tayo. Okay? So, next we have MP4 is fundamentally identical to MOB format and loan different by provided by uh, that roughly added metadata. Ayan. So, uh, what's the difference between MP4 or anyone? Sino mo? Actually, yung nga, sabi nila dito, MP4 and MOV is just the same, although nagkakaroon lang tayo na problema dito when it comes to player. Okay? There are other players na nakaka-read ng MOV. Meron din mga ibang players na hindi nakaka-read ng MOV. That is why, mas maganda gamitin yung MP4 kasi yung MP4, lahat ng players nakaka-identify ng MP4. So, MP4 put on record augmentation is supported by multimedia applications with Apple, iTunes, and Xbox 360. So, yan. So, so uh, MPEG. Okay. MPEG is a line of compression method designed for audio and visual data. So, 3GP naman is a piece on PC, may perhaps be viewed at VLC player. Real-time, QuickTime, GeoM Player, and Media Player Classic. So, these are the different types ng mga, ano tayo, ng mga uh, may, uh, file extensions for videos na meron tayo. So, ito meron ngayon. Uh, I'm not sure if you're still familiar with FLVs. Meron pa ba kayo, meron pa ba ditong, ano, nakakita ng mga video na may FLV na file format? Yes, sir. So, yun. Okay. So, usually, itong mga FLV na to, these are videos or usually mga animations to sila. These are videos, animations done in uh, done in or ginawa using Flash. Okay? How many of you have already tried Flash or may idea ka paano gumamit ng Flash? Yes, okay. Yes, so, usually, oh, Flash kasi, Macromedia Flash, dati, uh, it started with Macromedia Flash, but then it, Macromedia Flash was bought by Adobe. And, Mac, and Flash now, wala nang Flash ngayon. Okay? Adobe, Adobe rebranded. Oh, okay. It's now Adobe Animate. But then, the same pa rin yung ano nila. Same lang yung idea kung paano ginagawa or paano yung ano nila. So, dati in Flash, if you're going to uh, render or... Uh, in, oh, if you're going to render uh, a flash animation, it's going to have a that .flv format. So for you to be able to to play the .flv format, you'll be needing a flash player. Pa. So usually, nilalagay natin yung mga .flv na yan, nilalagay natin yan sa mga websites natin. Okay? So usually, uh, uh, so uh, mangyayari niyan ngayon is uh, uh, for this uh, FLB2, para mag-play sa mga websites, kailangan ng mga flash player na nakaka-embed sa mga browsers ninyo para mag-play sila. So, that is the the problem here is that yung sa mga FLB is this is okay sa mga desktop. What happens is, during the launch ng mga iPhones, nagkaroon ng problema yung FLB kasi hindi ka pwede maglagay ng mga F flash player sa mga smartphones. And that's the reason kung bakit dahan-dahan na matay yung mga uh, flash videos or yung mga flash animations na nakikita natin sa mga websites natin. It was replaced by JavaScripts na mga JavaScript na ginagamit ngayon to create yung mga animations na nakikita natin sa mga uh, websites. Klaro ba tayo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sige, let's proceed. So, features of multimedia. So, again, we have text, audio, 
pictures, video, animations, animation, and interactivity. So, for this one, ang mga itatakal natin dito is yung sa, again, yung sa picture editing. So, sa picture editing, uh, yun nga, uh, we will be using Adobe. So, we'll, for image editing, we'll be using Adobe Photoshop. Tapos, for mag, mag illustrator din tayo, After Effects, uh, uh, Premiere, Adobe Premiere. Uh, gusto ko sana mag After Effects, but my problem with After Effects is baka hindi na kayanin ng oras. And, ano, uh, baka hindi na kayanin ng mga, ano ninyo, ng mga laptops ninyo. Okay. At least 16 gig yung RAM. Uh, Oo, so, oh, at least 16 gig. Oh. Actually, nag, uh, nag-edit ako sa ano lang, sa kit yung... Premiere na ginagamit ko sa 8 gig medyo mabigat pa talaga. <laughs> so ano, kaya nga uh, ang gagawin natin is ano lang, introductory lang talaga lahat. Dito tayo magdi-dig deeper. Yung introductory lang at least lang para may idea kayo kung paano ginagamit ang mga to. Okay? So, yun nga uh, sa video will be using Premiere for animation will be using Animate. Tapos uh, interactivity gagam uh, Uh, siguro yung interactivity ano yan, uh, sa animate pa rin tayo dyan papasok. Okay, we'll try to, uh, yung some animate yung gagawa tayo ng mga, aside from just creating animations in animate, gagawa tayo ng parang mga simple app na parang may mga buttons na every, na maglalagay tayo ng interactivity sa mga animations natin sa animate. If abutin ng oras, hopefully. Okay, so first we have text. Yan. So, text is the most widely used in flexible means of presenting information on screen and conveying ideas. Okay? So, text is an essential aspect in presenting an information. Like each element of the media, design effective or used text can either direct users or read attentions or divert it. So, yan. So, one of the very important aspects in multimedia is text. Bakit? Why do you think text is very important? Anyone? Why do you think text is very important when it comes to multimedia? Or creating your multimedia? Anyone? Because um, text alone provides one source of information. Okay. Okay, tama. Uh, anyone? Uh, anyone? How about anyone else? What else? Wala? Wala ba dyan? Okay. So, actually, tama na yung sinasabi ni, ano, ni John Lloyd. Okay? So, again, text conveys what ever you want to uh, what do you call this one it conveys whatever message you want to give to your uh, audience okay so example uh, try to imagine if you are going to create an inspirational for example you'll be creating an inspirational poster okay or you'll be creating a paano ba You'll be creating, sige, let's put this this way. You'll be creating an invitation for a wedding. Okay? You'll be pre, uh, you'll be designing a multimedia invitation for your for a wedding. Tapos hindi readable yung text doon sa invitation mo. What do you think will happen? Hindi daw nila na-receive ng. So, ang gagawin ko, bibigay ko na lang lahat. Di maintindihan, sir, ng ano. Okay, hindi nila maintindihan. Baka mag- most probably, the worst case scenario, maling date sila pumunta. Baka yung wedding is bukas, pumunta sila ngayon. Kasi hindi nila nabasa, hindi nila mabasa kung ano yung text na nandoon sa media mo. So that is why text is very important. Okay, so later on, we will also be discussing to you what are the effective ways to use or mga effective ways to you the effective ways and techniques that you can add to your text. Also, there are different types of text na pwede didiscuss natin and saan sila magandang gamitin. Okay? So, dadaanan lang natin to siya. 
So next we have audio. So audio refers to a sound. Multimedia can include two files which contain sounds. Audio songs also come under the heading multimedia. Multimedia presentation of 10 and tracks. So ba, kaya na magbasa ha? So yan. So same, just the same with text. Audio is also very important. Actually, lahat sila very important. Try to imagine having a, a video kung saan. Example, sige. Gumawa ka, ng, gumawa ka ng music video. Tapos sa music video mo, ang hina na ang sound. Ang ganda ng video mo, ang ganda ng pagkakagawa, ang, ang ganda ng pagkakakonsept ng video, pero yung sound mo ang hina. Or, much worse scenario, merong noise na nakukuha doon sa background mo. Example, may dalawang magjowa na, ano, na may romantic scene ka, pero doon sa background o background audio mo, may sumisigaw na babae o may dumadaan na mga jeep. ba Panira. So, that is why audio is really important. Next, pictures. Ayan. So, pictures, images is a two-dimensional screen display and as well as a three-dimension such as a statue or hologram, graphics, pie chart, painting, etc. and so on. So, you're already familiar with this one. Okay, so as we go out, I'll also be discussing to you about uh, photography. So I'll be discussing to you the uh, how to uh, configure your camera. It will, ano lang ah, ayo, di nyo kailangan bumili. You don't have to buy a camera. I'll just be discussing to you kung uh, para saan yung how you can manually uh, set or adjust the settings of a camera depending kung paano nyo gusto yung scene na gusto ninyo. Okay? So, di-discuss natin yan. So, um, also, I'll be discussing to you some of the mga tips kung paano kayo kung kukuha ng mga images. Yan. So, also, doon sa portfolio na gagawin ninyo, you can, you also have to include there yung mga pictures na gawa ninyo and yung kasama na yung color grading or yung color graded na siya. So, later on, we'll be discussing that. Okay, so next, ito, video. Ito. So video is an unedited material as it may be originally filmed by a movie camera or recorded uh, by a video camera. So ito, hindi na to ano ngayon. This is no longer uh, ginagamit. Usually, uh, anything that you capture or any multimedia na gina, kin, uh, kinakapture natin, you have to edit it first before uploading it or before publishing it. Okay, so... The embedding of video in multimedia applications is a powerful way to convey information which is or which can incorporate a personal element which other media lack. So video enhances dramatic size and give impact to your multimedia application. So the advantage of integrating video into a multimedia presentation is the capacity to effectively convey a great deal of information that this amount of time. So, yeah. Question so far? None, sir. Okay, so let's proceed. Ito. Ito. Next, we have animation. So, animation is a rapid display of sequence of images of 2D and 3D. Okay, question. Sino sa inyo dito ang merong ano, TESDA 2D and 3D certification? NC2, 2D, 3D certification. Sino meron? Yes, sir. Okay, ano yun sa'yo? 2D, 3D? Both. Uy, ayos. Galing ah. Galing. Sige, sige, sige. Very good. Okay, for those na wala Part pa. Time, ay, okay. yun lang. Hindi mo rin ninyo. Sige lang. Okay, so uh, yun nga. Actually, for those, uh, I would suggest na for you, uh, since mga ano kayo, graduating students kayo, kind, uh, it is actually a plus points na meron kayo mga NC if may mga NC, hold, NC holders kayo, especially those who are uh, gustong mag-focus sa, ano to, uh, sa multimedia track, okay, yung pagiging yung mga uh, designers, uh, aside from your portfolio, yung mga NC na yan would really be uh, plus points. Yeah. Excuse me, ha. Nakampus B sila ata ma'am, na si CJE, tang ano sila. Okay, I'm back. 
So, asan na tayo ulit kanina? Hello? Sa animation, sir. Sa 2D, 3D, sir. Ah, okay, sige, sige. So, yun, yun. Oo, oh, oh. okay, sa animation. So, yun nga. Uh, I would advise that you take yung 2D and 3D. Uh, it's NC2. Ah, NC3. NC3, 2D, and 3D. Magkaiba yun silang dalawa. Sa 2D animation, uh, for the 2D animation, kagawin nyo lang, ang pinapagawa nila is, you'll be asked to do a drawing. Okay? Tapos, uh, after the uh you'll be asking you to create a hand drawing talaga and then do an animation. For sa 3D naman ata is same thing, you'll be asked to do a drawing and then you'll be asked to create a 3D model of your drawing and an animation of that one. So, ganun lang yung pinapagawa nila. Kayang-kaya lang. So, Moving on, oh, the effect is an optional illusion of motion due to the new uh, phenomenal or persistence of vision. Okay, so when we say this one, okay, so when we say animation, kasi animations are just images interlap. Okay, so when we say images interlap, these are just drawings na pinagsama-sama and then to create a movement. So, do you know that in every one second animation, there are actually 24 drawings or 24 illustrations so one second 24 illustrations so try to imagine creating a one hour animation ilan drawings you merong kailangan dun. so that is animation so animation adds visual in impact to the multimedia project so animations are also used in cartoons scientific visualizations Next, we have interactivity. So, interactivity can be termed as the dialogue that contain that occurs between an individual and a computer program. So, interactive multimedia refers to the multimedia application that allows users to actively participate rather than being um, passive passi uh, recipients of information. So, etc. So, so. Okay, let's move na muna. Bilisan na natin. So, multimedia today. So, multimedia today, uh, multimedia and its related applications have almost become synonymous with the modern technology given that the kinds of explosions the technological realm has seen. So, as you, as you can see, iba't iba sa mga panahon ngayon, iba't iba klase ng mga multimedias na yung lumalabas, par, lumalabas ngayon. Okay? So, as you can see, mayroon... Uh, as you can see, nowadays, you know, if you are an artist, meron na tayong ginatawag na yung mga drawing tablets na ginagamit to create uh, yung mga il il uh, illustrations ng mga uh, multimedias na meron tayo. Okay? Uh, tapos, ito. Uh, multimedia makes our life easier several times of old. It is through multimedia that mobile phones can be used for a phone of purposes. So, with the introduction of fewer generations to mobile phones and more advanced communication protocol, the number of multimedia uses that are, that your phone can be put to keep growing. So, and so video conferencing, which enables people across the global borders to communicate with each other in real time, is an excellent example of how multimedia has benefited the world of communications and telephony. And so. For the future of multimedia, we have here the technology of multimedia become uh, design utilizes various features like animation, video, graphics, audio, and sound. The multimedia technology is used for 3D cinema applications and mobile 3D TV environment. Animation is also being used to titling films, creating special effects for web entertainment programs. The scope of animation is huge in context to market okay. and in the field of education multimedia is being used extensively uh, for online courses and trainings multimedia is also used in advertising and purposes so purposes of multimedia multimedia enhance the effect of text presentations 
improves the quality of presentation of remain the attention of audience it can be used to educational as well as entertainment purpose it is quick and easier to operate for the instructor multimedia presentations can be modified very easily multimedia entertainment as well as educational now the disadvantages is that it uh, non-interactive if if one way no feedback so complex to create time consuming and use of multimedia is expensive so yan so so what are the uses for multimedia we have here we can use it in commercial entertainment education engineering and so on so especially now medyo kumaka, ano uh, medyo in demand na rin talaga yung mga freelancers ng uh, when it comes to multimedia mga freelancers or nagpi-freelance na lang okay especially now with the outsourcing madami na rin talaga mga uh, artists na mga mga Pinoy artists na ina-outsource by other countries. Kasi nga uh, yung ginagawa ng mga ibang countries ngayon, instead of hiring an or, or hiring a person that will do all their mga ano all the media sa kailangan ng company, they are just outsourcing it. For example, is yung instead of hiring someone uh, or hiring an employee to create your create the logo of the company, why not just outsource someone who'll do the logo and pay him for and pay for its services or itataw natin ano niya uh, nakalimutan ko or yun nga yung fee niya inabayaran. So ganun na lang ginagawa ngayon. Kaya usually mas malaki. How many of you yung naka how many of you ay meron si Jay Lata. Jay Lata diba sumasama mga kasa ano? you're entering sa mga 3D sumasali ka sa mga 3D ah 3D na sumasali ka sa mga logo making competition Yes sir Okay so nakailang panalo ka na <laughs> Since nung first year ako sir nag-join uh, uh, sa ano IC ah, sa ICS pa Ay ayun ayun medyo magaling hmm. Okay. So, have you tried yung ano, sa mga logo making competitions online? Ah, yes sir. Uh, I tried. Actually, nakalimutan working. Uh, yeah. uh, 'yun. Actually, ah, uh, yung actually there is a time kung saan gumagawa din ako ng logo dati. I'm nakalimutan ko na yung website kung saan ako nagano. It's I think if, if I'm not mistaken, it's ano logo this logo design.com it okay logo design.com is a website wherein yung mga employ yung mga business mga businesses can go there and ask the artists to create their logos ang mangyayari doon is a company will do a posting this is the type of logo that i want and then all the artists on the platform that is interested will come up with their very own design sila gagawa ng mga design nila and then ipopost sila and then mamimili yung company kung ano yung pinakagusto niya. So it's like you're competing with all the other artists na meron doon. Mahirap siyang manalo but then the prices din is actually medyo malaki din yung bayad pag nananalo. Naka, meron, naka, natry mo na ba yung ganun? Wala pa sir. Sa, ano yeah. lang, sa fever lang tsaka sa Upwork. Um, Oh, sa Upwork kasi di ba? Upwork kasi ang alam ko is you're sending your proposal. Nagbibigay ka ng proposal. Proposal base. Oh, oh tapos sando na lahat. Oh. Iba kasi yung meron kasi sa logo design, ano, ibibigay lang nila kung yung concept na gusto nila and then pagandahan kayo ng gawa. Parang ganun yung mangyayari or paganda, pabonggahan ng gawa. And then I think yung doon, Upwork kasi ata, parang nasa proposal mo na di ba? Yung doon kasi ang parang bayad nila, ah, uh, For a low, pag mananalo ka, I think yung price noon is nasa around 15 to 10,000 per logo na mananalo. So try to imagine if you're going to create a logo and then or create, man, usually if you're going to create a logo, uh, siguro you can, uh, for conceptualization, like pwede mo ilagay 2 hours and then when doing it, mga, siguro mga 4 hours to create a logo. Try to imagine in Uh, one day, gagawa ka ng logo, and manala, tapos mananalo yung logo na yun. So, if you're going to earn 15,000, 
there's a chance of you winning 10,000 or 15,000 peso per day. So, ganun kalaki yung mga kinikita ng mga multimedia artists actually. Depende, depende. Actually, pag pupunta, yung pag sa Upwork din, depende rin. If you're go, may mga, iba't iba din kasi itong mga rating talaga nila. Okay. So, meron pa ba dito yung iba na nag, uh, ano, na nag-logo making? Meron pa ba iba dito na nag, nag ano, nag-freelance? Karyal, sir. Ah, si Karyal. Saan si Karyal? Sir. Sir. Ah. Uh, 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 <laughs> Yan, sige, sige, sige. Uh, yan. So, alam ko naman, medyo madami mga talented sa inyo. So, yeah. Okay na yan. Sige. So, uh, uh, siguro, uh, ito mangyayari muna sa atin. So, before we tackle yung sa Adobe, I think it is essential if we first discuss, we also discuss yung how to use yung mga uh, editing soft, uh, multimedia softwares na freeware. Okay? Freeware naman. Kasi usually, again, uh, take You have to take note that there are some companies din kasi na ano, uh, di, uh, if you're going to go outside kasi, dito lang kasi tayo sa Pilipinas yung uso yung mga pirata. Okay? Mga pirated na mga softwares. Uh, kaya nga, uh, that is why uh, it is also very essential for us to understand or how to use yung mga other softwares na f- hindi, es- na freeware lang. Okay? Or mga ano, tawag nito uh, oh mga freeware so when we say freeware is our uh, softwares that are free or free to use na wal- walang licensing okay so actually uh, I'll be creating a video or uh, I'll be creating a video para sa laboratory ninyo for this week wherein I'll be creating a video on how to use two So, uh, two applications. One is for video editing. One is for image editing. So, basics lang i-cover ko doon. And then, I all, what I want you to do is to... You also try to use the so, software and then come up with whatever you have. Okay? I will not be expecting anything kasi we haven't discussed anything about how to lay out or to create a multimedia. Okay, wala pa mga principles. So, it's just up to you. Parang yung gagawin niyo that would be the, uh, whatever you're going to create for the laboratory activity will be parang yung magiging uh, base niyo kung saan kayo magsisimula. Okay, so most probably I'll be uploading the video by tomorrow siguro. Okay, I'll just post the link doon sa, ano natin, doon sa, uh, doon sa ah, dito lang sa ano natin i-class natin or sa Microsoft Teams natin. Klaro ba tayo? Yes, yes sir. Okay, hey, yan. So, also well, dito naman din tayo I'll be discussing na rin yung para sa midterm ninyo. So, for the midterm kasi ang mangyayari is uh, actually midterm na ngayon. So, as you can see medyo delayed tayo. So, what is going to happen is your midterm exam will be on the same date as your final exam. Naro. Okay, so, oh, i-discuss natin. So, Papa, parang sir. isahan na lang yun. Parang isahan na lang yung exam ninyo. Midterm. Take nyo yung midterm and then at the same time, take nyo na rin yung finals. Yun na yung coverage na. Yun yung mangyayari sa atin. Okay? Tapos, for the projects, yun lang nga, portfolio ninyo. Tapos, there would be, ano, uh, merong, aside dun sa portfolio nyo, meron dapat uh, limang media na present sa portfolio ninyo. Parang yun yung mga requirements ninyo. Okay? Yun yung requirement doon sa portfolio ninyo. Dapat nandun yung limang medias na to. Okay? So, for the medias, ito yung kailangan ninyong gawin. Yung limang medias na yun is uh, you need to first uh, uh, you will be creating a logo for your company. Depende na sa inyo. Or logo for your, ano na, logo na lang ng sarili ninyo. It doesn't have to be a company, logo ng sarili ninyo. Okay? Logo para sa'yo. If you're...